Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your general reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyance, formerly known as the Dream Medium. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. All right, so this is for Aries, 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 Aries. I had to do Aries because I received a comment and one of my subscribers was very upset with me that I did not post Aries. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, three of wands. You guys, I always try my best to upload all 12 zodiac signs, but I can only do so many readings at once because I do use my energy for these readings. So just be patient. I love all of my 12 zodiac signs equally. All right. General reading for... Aries. Ooh, Aries. What's going on here? Okay, I'll take all. King of Swords paired with the Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Temperance, Two of Wands. What in the world? <clears throat> General reading for Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus are rising. Okay. Knight of Wands. Three of Wands. Okay. I'm getting this strong feeling of jealousy. Like someone here is like extremely jealous and possessive. Let me see. Clarify the three of wands. Page of, page of swords. Clarify the three of wands. Two of cups. Uh-oh. Wheel of Fortune, Death, King of Wands. Yeah, this is an ex. This is someone who you dealt with from the past. This could be you, okay? The roles can be reversed, okay? Because it's general, but I feel like for most of you, this is your person. Um, this individual has been heavily missing you. The Three of Wands is someone who's missing you, someone who's waiting for their ships to sail in. Um, I feel like this person has been patiently waiting for an opportunity to be with you, but what they failed to realize is why keep you waiting? Why wait when you can take action and go towards your person, right? Um, I don't know. I really don't know what this person has been thinking, but I do see that they've been waiting and waiting and waiting, most likely waiting for something miraculous to happen, waiting on that perfect moment to come in. Whatever it is, it's not working out in their favor. This individual has been watching you, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is, um, I always say pages represents a form of communication. Typically, this is communication that you'll get from a distance. Like it could be a phone call, a text message through social media. But I feel like this person has been watching you. The Page of Swords often represents someone who's having a hard time moving on. Okay, this individual has not moved on from you at all. I feel like they've been watching you from a distance, especially through social media. For those of you who do have social media, um, even here with the Two of Cups, yeah, this person still wants a partnership with you. All right, the Two of Cups represents, excuse me, <clears throat> Two of Cups represents a partnership. It also represents a mutual love, a love that's requited. So I feel like once upon a time, this, this was a Two of Cups connection where the both of you were mutually interested in each other. Um, this is a beautiful card here, okay? But it's like the love was there, the potential was there, the opportunity to be together was there, but this individual didn't take it. Instead, they were holding back and they were just waiting on something miraculously, you know, to happen. All right? Um... I want to know why this person was waiting because I'm curious as well. Okay, let me see. Why were they waiting? Why were they waiting? Show me why this individual was waiting for their love interest. What was their reason? Why did they not take this opportunity? Ace of Swords. Ah, they needed clarity. This person had to sort, what I'm hearing is they had to sort their feelings out about you. Um, I feel like this individual is in love with you, but they probably didn't understand how they could be in love with you. Maybe this is a situation where the both of you just 
never really got to spend a lot of time with each other, but that the connection is still very strong. Um, whatever the reason is, it's because they needed clarity, okay? The Ace of Swords represents clarity, getting the truth, okay? That's why they were taking so long. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune had to come in, right? The Wheel of Fortune, it's a karmic wheel. So I feel like things were just being very stagnant between the two of you both of you waiting on each other but no one no one taking action no one initiating a reunion so the universe had to come in and shake some things up because the both of you were too comfortable with waiting on each other so a big change happened and i feel like one of you actually has met another lover okay i feel like that's why this individual is feeling very jealous or will be feeling very jealous um, this could have already happened. This could be happening right now. Or for some of you, this is what will happen very soon where things are going to shake up a little bit because the universe is like, okay, these two are not taking action. They're just, you know, waiting for each other, missing each other, but the both of them aren't taking action. So something here needs to be shaken up. Okay. And so the universe is coming in and I feel like either you or your person, I feel like this is you. I feel like you are about to meet another person. Okay, uh, meet another lover. And that's what's going to push this person towards you. They're going to find out because they've been watching you through social media anyways. So they're going to get some sort of information about you seeing someone and that's what's going to push them towards you. Okay, because they've, they've just been waiting. Like waiting for what? Take action. Do what you want. Do what your heart you know is telling you to do. You have the death. Okay, so this is definitely someone who I feel, like I said earlier, I feel like this is an ex or a past lover and things just didn't work out because the death card is here, but there's about to be a transformation in the connection, okay? Some big big changes are about to happen. That's what I'm hearing with the death because things have just been at a standstill for too long, okay? There, has, there needs to be some sort of action here. No more waiting on each other. Um, so you have the king of wands. This is them. This is someone who carries a lot of passion for you. They're very physically attracted to you. That chemistry is definitely there. Uh, this is a very passionate individual, very fiery. Uh, despite their their um, their placements, it just means that this is someone who carries a lot of fire, lots of passion for you in this connection. The King of Wands is a very headstrong individual. This is not someone who gives up easily. Okay, this is someone who will continue to fight for this connection, but I do feel like this individual needs to be much more assertive instead of just sitting back and, and I don't know, expecting something to miraculously happen. Okay, um, let's see. So King of Swords being paired with the Knight of Cups. There is, I feel like this person has an attitude Okay, because I don't know, if you look at the look at the King of Swords, he always looks like he has an attitude, right? Like he's stuck up or something. The King of Swords is someone who's very serious minded, very strict, very blunt. He's a very good communicator. And by the way, these cards aren't gender specific. They're energies that anyone can embody. But the King of Swords is someone who's very strict. He is an excellent communicator, but he just, he isn't the warmest communicator because he's very blunt. He's very cutting and he can be very cold, but this is someone who, who wants to tell you a lot. Okay. This person wants to really express themselves. They have a lot to say. In clarity, in clarity of the King of Swords, you have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, this is an individual. I always say the Knight of Cups reminds me of someone who's like doing that walk of shame, doing the walk of shame to try and make things right with the one who they wronged. I always see the Knight of Cups that, that way. You know, this is an individual who wants to make amends with you, okay? They want to make things better. They want to get back on your good side, all right? You even have the Six of Pentacles here. Six of Pentacles represents balance needing to be restored. So they do acknowledge that they could have done more, okay? And maybe that's why this individual was holding back from taking action towards you. Maybe, it's, maybe you know, there's a little bit of guilt here um, because they know that they lacked heavily in this connection, that it was an unequal give and take connection. You may have been the partner who was just giving and giving and giving, and they were not meeting you halfway. They were not giving anything, you know, in return to you. Okay, so they do recognize that. And I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They, they at least want to explain themselves. Okay, they have a lot to say. Okay, um, you also have the two of wands. 
this individual will be making a decision about you, like a set decision about you, okay? The two of wands is someone who's very decisive, someone who has made a set decision and they're certain that they have made the right decision, okay? They did have options with the two of wands here. They didn't have to come towards you. They could have stayed back or they could have, they could have you know, went towards another, another person, another situation, but they're going to be choosing the option that will lead them towards you, okay? They're going to make up their mind. You even have the temperance that's here. So the temperance represents balance, harmony. I want to know more about this temperance. Clarify the temperance. Mm. This person wants a relationship with you. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I feel like this individual definitely acknowledges, you know, they acknowledge all the hard work, all the effort that you put into the relationship or the connection. And now they just want to meet you halfway. Because when I clarify the temperance, you have the queen of pentacles. This is the queen of abundance. This is the most valuable woman in the deck because she's very hardworking. You know, you even see her here. It looks like she's knitting or something and you see all her work behind her. So they acknowledge you. They acknowledge your hard work. You know, the love, the time, the effort that you put into this connection. And the fact that it, the Queen of Pentacles clarifies the tempers, it means that they want this connection to be much more balanced. Like I said, with the Six of Pentacles, they want it to be much more balanced. They want to restore balance with you, you know, restore harmony in this connection and really be that partner that they know you deserve to have. You have the Eight of Pentacles that's here. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles represents you you literally if you look at the eight of pentacles it's easy to see what this card represents because this individual looks like they're cleaning the floor the eight of pentacles is someone who's who's putting in work who's putting in effort okay um they could even be manifesting you but i don't feel like they're just sitting back they're not going going to be just sitting back and expecting something to miraculously happen like how they were doing in the past this person is actually going to be putting in effort putting in work to get what it is that they want okay um Let's look at the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. So the Knight of Swords, this is very swift energy. I feel like this person is literally right behind you. Okay, so if this reading is for you, definitely expect their arrival um, to take place very soon because the Knight of Swords is someone who comes in very swiftly and they're going to come in with some good communication. The Page of Pentacles is here. They're going to come in with some good communication that's meant to move things forward with you. Okay. Um, and I feel like this person is very confident. They know they have an idea of the right things that, of the things that they need to say. Okay. Um, you have the ace of cups, ace of cups for me represents a divine offer of a second chance at love. This is what they're wanting. Okay. This is what they've been manifesting. That is their intention. This person isn't coming back to cause trouble. They're not coming back to play you. I do I do feel a lot of sincerity. That's why they're so serious and strict here as the King of Swords. They're taking you very seriously because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So they definitely know your worth, okay? Um, you have the Four of Swords that's here. I want to know more about this Four of Swords. Typically, the Four of Swords is someone who's either healing, someone who's just mentally drained, exhausted. Let's see, clarify the Four of Swords. Ten of Cups. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this individual has been daydreaming about you. They've had, you've been on their mind a lot, Aries. All right. The Ten of Cups talks about a life partnership. This is like unconditional love, this Ten of Cups here. Okay. Um, this is a Ten of Cups connection. Of course, the Ten of Cups doesn't guarantee anything. It's what you make it. It's what you make out of it. And so if you're willing, if the both of you are willing to work together and work through things, you know, and make the necessary changes in this connection, then you guys do have the potential to have this Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups talks about having a future with each other, a family, right? Um, 
this is what they want. Like I said, this person, look, you even have a, a page of cups that's here. Be patient with this person. I do feel like um, you make them nervous. Yes, the page of cups talks about communication, but oftentimes the page of cups is someone who communicates immaturely. Uh, I don't I don't believe this person wants to come in and, and play you, play mind games. No, I don't believe that they're going to be lying to you because they came out as the king of swords. This is a very straightforward person. They're going to be very honest and transparent with you, but I do feel that... Um, um, you know, they're the king of wands when it comes to you. So you do, you're really attractive to them, okay? <laughs> they have a lot of passion for you, especially that, you know, that sexual chemistry is there. Especially if you haven't seen this individual in a long time, there is sexual tension. And I feel like you do, you kind of intimidate them. And that's why they have a hard time with putting their words together, right? Forming their sentences to really express how deeply they feel for you. So if this is someone who you're interested in, please be patient with them. Be patient with them and, and give them time to speak to you, okay? Because I feel like this person is going to be very nervous and you, you'll see it. You'll you'll hear it in their voice. You'll see it in their their mannerism. You'll just know that they're nervous. So just if this is someone who you want to work things out with, please just be patient and let this person talk. Okay. Just let them talk and then you can decide on what you're going to do with them. Okay. So Aries, thank you guys so much for watching. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you, guys. Also, you guys, please be careful. There are scammers here um, who are impersonating tarot card reading channels. Um, the only social media that I have is YouTube. I don't have a WhatsApp. I don't drop my emails in the comment section. I do have a website, and you can find my website in the description box. Um, but that's, you know, that's pretty much it, all right, you guys? Thank you so much, and take care.